Hello! I will now show you how to use your Supercell for Final Cut X and Motion 5. The first thing you need to do inside of Final Cut X is go to your Generators browser, go to Motion Master Templates, and then look for the template called Your Supercell. You will find four different versions of this template. You have Your Supercell, and your Supercell with no logo. You will also find your Supercell faster render version and a faster render version for the no logo. Since the default version has motion blur, the renders tend to take a little longer, but it gives you a much more realistic render. But if you feel that the renders are taking too long and you do not want motion blur, you can use the faster render version. So for this demonstration, I will use the your Supercell faster render and this one has the logo on it. Just drag it onto your timeline. With this template you can choose any frame rate that you want. Now you can close the Generators browser and then click on your Inspector. Make sure you put the timeline somewhere on the template so you can see everything that is included with the template. Now, just change your text to whatever you want. Once you have done that, you can go to each text and adjust the sizes And you can also adjust the tracking. And you can adjust the baseline. So you can bring it closer or further from the banner. You can use the sliders or you can just click on the numbers and drag left or right. All the text has parameters to adjust the size, tracking, and baseline. For the banner, you can adjust the color of the banner. To change the colors of your text, just click on the text you want to change. Go to text, and then you can open up your face parameters by clicking on show. And then choosing if you want a gradient or a solid color. So for this I will choose gradient. I will open up this little triangle here next to the gradient to adjust my gradient color. And then I will click on the first box, then click on the color box, and then choose the green or whatever color that you want. So for this one, maybe I'll make it a little yellow. There you go. And then to adjust the bottom part of the gradient, just select the, the, just select the next color box. and do the same and choose your color. Next you can adjust the outline color. So you click on show to show your outline parameters Oops. Let's go back. I'll make this into a dark orange. 
Okay. And then you do the same for the next color. And then you do that. And then you do the same for the next text. Select the next text under the banner. Choose your color box. If you want to choose a color from inside of your template, just click on this little magnifying glass. to choose your color. Do the same for the bottom. And now, and now I will adjust the outline color. Okay. And this bottom color, I'll make it black, just to make it really pop. All right. Then we can go back to the generator. I'm going to make this green tag a little less green so it doesn't stick out too much. There we go. All right. And now you can add a drop zone or a logo, animation, picture, or photograph to this drop zone. So just click on the drop zone well. Then choose your logo, your image, your graphic. Hit apply clip. Reselect your template. And then you can adjust your parameters for that drop zone. You can adjust the drop zone pan. You can adjust the inside scale. Or you can uh, adjust the overall scale. And you can adjust this position as well. You also have the option to do a fill opaque. So all your transparent area or your alpha area will be filled in with a color. So just click on that and then choose whatever color you want. And that is optional. Um, as far as your background, you can either turn it on or off. So if you have something in the background, some video or graphic, you can uh, turn it off and you can see it right through. Or you can leave it on and just choose your, your own color. And that is it. All these parameters are exactly the same inside of Motion 5. So if you open up this template inside of Motion 5, you'll find these same exact parameters. So this template will work in both Final Cut X and inside of Motion 5. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, please visit the website at motionmastertemplates.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day. MotionMasterTemplates.com